I'm going to ask this. Question is, there's an incident occurred in this building about a month and a half ago, right down here in the lobby. It seems like a sheriff's deputy attacked a citizen as he was coming in the building. <clears throat> and the unique situation here is it's on video, on YouTube, two minutes and 20 seconds. I was, I received a phone call and uh, the person called me and said, you gotta watch this video and I did. And when I did, I'm deep, deeply disturbed by it. Uh, you know what it's about. Uh, I'd like to hear you. I, what I'm doing, I mean, I'm investigating. I'm doing research on it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I don't like it. What I've seen so far and what I've heard so far, I don't like. So I'd like to hear your side of it. Well, I don't. Uh, for, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have a side, Martin. Or your, your take on it. Uh, and and I, I think it's a legal issue, and I would rely on the district attorney and his folks to handle the investigation so I'm I'm not quote investigating the situation I see but the district attorney and the sheriff and everybody else are is, is in your employ you're the bosses they are right so with the final not the district attorney no, the I'm sheriff. not talking to you I'm talking to them they're elected officials who yeah well, the, the sheriff and the district attorney are elected officials. And but they, they still get paid by this county. And they have their own autonomy. They still get paid by the county, right? That's correct. The district attorney gets some funding from the state. But a lot of it from the county. We're not going to split hairs here. Uh, okay, you say uh, they're investigating it. Is that I, what you're telling I, me? That's an assumption. That assumption, yeah. Right. And the result of this investigation, do you think I will be informed of that any time in my lifetime? And I know I'm in my late 70s, but... My mother still lives at 96, so I might be around a while, you know. Will I be informed? Will, will the general public find out about it? I would think so. Because you see, Ames, I'm here all my life, and I watch things pretty carefully. And the cover-ups that have come out of this building and in the old building in 8th and Cumberland are enough to make you sick. Uh, I don't want this covered up. Because what I've seen on that video, and like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. I, I don't like it. I mean, I'm, I'm disturbed by it. I mean, where do we live? Where do I live? The United States of America or a third world di dictatorship where people get beat up for nothing? I don't, I don't, you know, if I asked you a question, the, the, the deputy involved in this, is he still employed by the county or has any disciplinary me measures been taken against him? You can't answer that, of course. Right. So I, I knew coming in here, that's what I was going to be told, that because it's a personnel issue or an advisory attorney, you can't come in. No, I haven't, I, I haven't <coughs> said that. I haven't said that. I said I just do not know. May I just add something to that? This is not a personnel matter. It's a criminal, there are criminal charges pending, and so the district attorney is 100% is in charge of this matter. So you have nothing to do with it? No. It's out of your hands? Yes. So then I have to go to his office, or his office, well, the, the, and what am I going to be told there? Well, it, Same thing I'm getting here. These are public, I mean, the criminal the criminal prosecution is public. So if you're awaiting the the results of an investigation, there are charges pending, and, and if it ultimately ends in, in whatever result, whether it be found not, go to trial, found not guilty, found guilty, plea agreement, whatever, all of those things are, are available to the public. There's nothing that the commissioners are involved with that they have any any uh, influence over at this point, especially the district attorney and the sheriff. So, yeah. Yeah. What's it look like I got off the boat yesterday? I've been around a long time. I understand that, but you're, you know what you're, I'm saying? you're looking to them for the results of an investigation, and, and the commissioners yeah. are not in No, I just came here to hear his side of it. Maybe he can give me his side of it. What I'm getting, I don't like. But I'm thinking, hey, be fair, come to you guys, right? And see, hear your side of it, then you make up, then I make up my uh, mind what, what's going on here. Uh, that's all I'm after. Uh, like I said, uh, I uh, cover ups this county, this city is, is famous for them. And I don't want this to become a cover up. I want it to see the light of day. Right? Sure. Does it date? You're all about First Amendment rights and freedoms. And you can't say nothing either. I didn't say I couldn't say anything. Um, I just think 
uh, part of what happened that day is that he got caught up in, uh, I, I don't know the details, I'll set that, say that up front, but there was a heightened alert that day for other reasons. Yeah, motorcycle gang. Oh, I know all about that. They weren't coming here. The man had told me in the beginning, I seen him on the street, he said, you know, there's a motorcycle gang coming. And we won't mention the name of the motorcycle gang. And I laughed at him. What would that motorcycle gang want in this beat up, run down backwater town? They got a lot better fish to fry. Believe me, they do. They weren't coming here. That's what, it was on height and alert. In the video, in the 15 years I'm coming in this building, I've never seen a deputy standing out front. As soon as I seen that video when he's coming up the steps, the red flag started to going up. I thought something's going on here. That's what it was all about. So this deputy to me, he overreacted. In other words, if this person was coming here representing frontline media, if he was looking to draw attention to himself or his cause, man, your deputy played right into his hands. In other words, this deputy, he attacked this man physically, where this situation should have been diffused verbally. And if he doesn't have the training or the intelligence to do that, then the only uniform he is fit to wear is that of a train conductor. That's my, my assertion, that's my, my, what I'm saying. Okay. Well. I'll throw out a date real quick. May the 25th, 1968. You realize, you know that date? Was that the civil rights? No. no, no, no. Help me out then. That was a date. Oh man, these are rough. That was a date. A poor little 14 year old girl that was born into a bad situation and a rundown apartment building at 8th and Maple was heinously and savagely slaughtered. Her name was Peggy Reaver. And as soon as her poor little body was found, bam, that's when the cover up started in this county by the bourgeoisie and the elitist because she was from the wrong side of the tracks. Well, I'm from the wrong side of the tracks too. And that anniversary is going to be coming up shortly. That was a cover-up. That was the darkest mark on Lebanon County and still is. Maybe that's why the Lebanon County, the city is in the shape it is today. Maybe little Peggy Reaver's having a revenge, isn't she? This isn't going to be a cover-up either. Not if I can help it. So that's my saying. Believe me, I'll be back. Because I have more people. This isn't done with me. I've got more people to see. And when I have my facts, so far I think I have more of my facts in line. And another thing... Well, this is my first dealing with government. That's how it works. You could go from this department to this department to this department. My comments were related to your statement that the commissioners employ these people and should, and implying that they should be intervening somehow. They don't employ the district attorney and the sheriff. That, that, that's a, that's a but who pays their wages? Right? Some of it. The county? Do I pay it, right? But that doesn't give them the We do authority. not have authority over elected officials, though. Exactly. Every every row officer has some autonomy. Gee, remember when I came here about EIT? That's the same story I got. Well, we, we can't get involved in it. Well, they should have got involved in it. That's here. That's gone. That's water on the bridge. And you see where, where that went, too. The commissioners are not the king of, of all. So then I have to get down to Arnold, officials. right? Sure. And then what's Arnold's office going? Even if I get past the the, 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 the Connor, then what's going to happen? I don't I know. Can't I can't run on and run there. again. I can't speak for him. I like I say, Jamie, I didn't get off the boat yesterday. I understand that. I'm, I'm well aware of that. I'm just, well I'm just addressing what your statement was that they employ them and they should have some, implying they should have some influence, and they simply don't. So in other words, I'm going to leave here today knowing I'm getting a run around if, and it's evolved into a cover-up. If a county commissioner has an opinion on a criminal case, for example, that okay, he can't comment it because, all right. That doesn't make any difference. He can't comment because this man's hearing didn't come I, up yet. May I finish what I'm trying to get Go across? Ahead. The district attorney is independent. The, the investigations he conducts, the conclusions he draws, and what he decides to prosecute and not prosecute is not up to anyone else. He's the top law enforcement. And I don't like to deal with him. Well, you see what I'm saying? Okay, but I'm, I don't just, like I'm to stating... Deal with him. I'm stating facts according to, you know, state law. Isn't it refreshing, though, somebody comes in here and just tells it like it is? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, Martin, I, I, I do appreciate that. But you had made a request to be on the agenda under the, and, and you right. withdrew that. Right, and you know why I did that? 
because I didn't have my facts together. I thought about it over the weekend. I went to see Kathy and I got on the agenda, but I didn't have my facts all together over the weekend. So I thought, and I went on Monday already, Kathy, ahead of time, more time, you know, and gave her ample notice, I don't want to be in the agenda. But then I got thinking about it and I thought, well, I'll just simply ask you what you can tell me about it. And I get nothing, so I'll leave. But I will be back, believe me, okay? All right, thank you. Uh,